guys welcome some of you welcome back f1 is out been waiting for this one for a while and i'm about to take it for a spin so let's get into this module let's test it out now i'm going to test it out for some specific things one thing i want you to know right off the bat i am not looking for graphics i could care less about it this is not a how-to video so if you're looking for those videos uh, this is not for you this is going to be specifically seeing how this airplane handles from a pilot's point of view I'm interested in how the airplane flies, so let's get right into it. Okay, first things first, this is going to be a three-part video. First video, this one is going to be the basics. This is just taking it for aerodynamic spin, uh, testing it out in some specific situations I'm looking for, getting familiar with the airplane, and all the basics you have to do before you actually go fly the plane. So, um, let's do the takeoff first, and then we'll get into the other stuff. Uh, one thing about takeoff, be very careful with this Mirage. One thing is do not pull that nose. You want to have that nice gentle pull. Otherwise, if you pull too much, you're going to get a tail strike. So nice gentle pull. Just lift off the nose, keep it there. Just let it fly off the runway. You have to be delicate. You have to be delicate on the rudders too. Very easy to lose control with this one on the ground. So um, rudders to a minimum. first thing I actually did was just a roll, basic roll, and doing the basic roll I noticed one thing right off the bat. These guys have added some adverse yaw. What that is, is when you do a roll, you're rolling to one side, but the nose is actually pulling to the other side. So the nose it doesn't stay centered, it goes all over the place. Now this is good, because this is what happens in real life. As, as one wing lifts, it actually creates more drag, so as you're rolling to the left, the nose yaws to the right. Because the wing that's lifting, it's creating more drag, so it's actually dragging the nose to that side. So this is called adverse yaw, and I'm glad this is something they put in because um, this feels right. Uh, next thing I did was I uh, just took it to the basic sustained turn and basic instantaneous turn. Uh, very easy in this airplane because over here you have a angle of attack indicator so basically as long as you keep it in that green just before the yellow that's your sustained turn maintains that turn that's your best rate of turn for a rate fight we're going to use this later in the in the dog fight so keep that in mind uh, one thing about the f1 it is a rate fighter so uh, again more details later on that but i like i like that i like the way this one handles uh, how accurate it is that's going to be the very last video when I get to test the turn rates, that's going to be at the very end, probably a few days from now. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is just do a uh, an instantaneous turn. This is basically a max lift turn. So as we're pulling, we want to keep it into that red, just into that red. Uh, that's going to give you the max turn. The airspeed is dropping. The airplane is kind of shaking a little bit. Uh, it should be shaking more, I think. And But the plane is very stable. The nose is not moving up or down. It's It's staying right to the front. Using those indicators, it's very easy to do a sustained and instantaneous turn in this one. Okay, so the next thing I do want to test is stalls. Now, stalls are a little bit weird in this airplane. Um, they're a little bit too stable for my liking. Uh, so if I pull back, pull back, pull back, and then the, that nose is going to fall forward. Usually in a swept wing plane, the tips stall first. So any imbalance, any yaw imbalance, any ball imbalance, and then the, there's going to be a wing drop to one side or the other. This one, it seems to be pretty stable in just about every stall. One thing I did try was accelerated stalls. I kind of, nah, I don't know about this part. Um, I just kept pulling up and up and up, and the airplane just kept going forward. The, the nose never fell down as long as I kept the afterburner in. Uh, at one point, I got down to 100 knots, but uh, um, I don't know. I don't know how accurate this part is, but the nose just doesn't want to drop in full afterburner. Now one thing the developers noted in the manual is that they actually added some uh, wing drop stalls. This is, uh, I'm going to show you this, this is perfect. So what happens is you're going to come to a stall position, full angle of attack, airplane is just basically stalling and then we're going to use ailerons. So if we use an aileron to one side, the opposite wing is actually going to stall. So you're gonna, the airplane is going to roll and get into a spin on the other side. And this is happening uh, on this plane. <laughs> this is beautiful. The, 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 I like this condition.
Okay, now, next thing I want to do is, this is something very important. This is boring, but this is something that probably the most important thing that I do on an airplane is something called slow flight. I will bring it down to the minimum controllable airspeed. I mean, we're talking about 135 knots here. Um, the plane is shaking, and it's barely staying up in the air. And you know what? This is good. This is good because uh, right now I'm, I'm using rudders like crazy to keep this thing going. And that's exactly what happens in real life with airplanes. When you get them to the minimum controllable airspeed, do not use those ailerons because you will stall the wing and you will get into a spin. So right here, we're just pulling back and, and look at that. Just using that rudder um, and, and basically turning with the rudder, uh, um, keeping this neutral keeping the stick neutral back in this uh, pre-stall condition and airplane is just shaking you can hear it and I'm using the rudders to control it this is this is I love this I love this part this is where the developers make or break the planes you know mid flight mid speed flight you, you can even get those right with a, with a simple flight model but getting to these edges this is where the developers make their money and this I love this one just like the mosquito last time I think they got this one right over here. Again, we can test this out. If we use the aileron to one side, yep, there goes the stall to the other side. Okay, so now this is the basic stuff. I am gonna do a landing right now, and that will be the end of this video. And then the next video, I'm gonna do some combat fighting and I'll show you how to fight in this because it's not gonna be as easy as people think it is. So uh, we'll get that in the, in the next video, but let's, let's take a look at this. Okay, this is the landing. Now for the landing, it says to do it at about 150 knot approach speed. I actually had to keep it 160 yeah. because I had about 30% fuel left here. Uh, maybe at, at less fuel, you can go up to down to 150, but I really like 160 better and even 160 maybe a little bit too too little maybe 170 should be better for the approach speed uh, because as we come here um, uh, again remember this is a mirage you don't want to flare this one too much because you're gonna get a tail strike so as you come in uh, just minor flare and, and touch down keep it on the center line you do have a parachute you can you can uh, deploy um, I'm using brakes here and you have to be very careful after landing because if you use rudder and a brake at the same time you can get into a lot of trouble Okay, so overall, I like this module. It's correct. Some specific areas like ailerons causing a stall at high angles of attack. That's correct. Handling at slow speed using those rudders, that's perfect. Easy sustained turns, easy instantaneous turns, perfect. Couple of areas of concern, maybe stalls. Stalls themselves, a little too stable, and uh, with full power stalls, afterburner stalls, it, the nose never drops. So uh, we'll see how it does in combat in the next video. Thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys soon.